So please welcome this week's special guest, David. <laughs> Joe Lysett, what is David to you? This is my neighbour, David, and last year, to save money, we time-shared a Christmas tree. Ruth, <laughs> how do you know David? This is David, and he walked into a charity shop just as I was donating the gift he'd given me a few days earlier. <laughs> right. Ruth's charitable chum. And finally, David, what is your relationship with David? This is David. And when my daughter lost her beloved toy rabbit, we held up a train so I could board it and grab it. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. Lee's team, where would you like to begin? Joe, next door neighbour? Yeah. Well, first of all, why aren't you just buying your own Christmas tree? Well, David and I decided to save a bit of money. We knew David was going away on Christmas Eve, so he wasn't going to use the Christmas tree after that point. I was working pretty much up until Christmas, so we thought it was a good idea that we So he save got it. it from the 1st of December? He got it on the 12th to the 24th. Then I had it from the 24th to the 1st. I got rid of it on the 1st. And did you take it decorated? Yeah. Just in one, like that, and just plonk it in your house? So that's why we won't do it again, because <laughs> we worked out that the, the savings that we made from sharing the cost of the tree, which was about 60 quid, we saved that, but the amount of baubles... Uh -huh. that we lost in the transit. And this was all about saving £30? Yes. But, you know, you're doing all right. David's not. <laughs> <laughs> what was your Christmas set-up after the 24th? Did you have people staying with you? They didn't stay, but they came for Christmas dinner. For, for the day. Oh, you remember they came to watch EastEnders? <laughs> yeah. You had, a, you had a big row with them, don't you remember? We had a big row, yeah. Right, who would you like to question next? Um, Ruth. Can you remind us of your... David's my cousin, and he walked into a charity shop just as I was donating the gift he'd given me a few days earlier. What was the gift? What was the gift, first of all? Right. It's one of those, you know, them really ugly <laughs> porcelain pig things that open. Huh? You know them on... Cookie like... jar. Yeah, but smaller than a cookie jar. Not big enough for a cookie jar, so you couldn't even use it for that. So, sorry, you've gone into the charity shop mm -hmm. to get rid of this pig thing? It, yeah, that's yeah. the only words that can Your cousin's it. walked in? Yeah. And gone, taking a pig for a walk? What are you doing with a pig? <laughs> <laughs> did you I didn't <laughs> expect <laughs> him to be there. <laughs> did, you, did you carry on with the process of, like, let's get rid... Yeah, talk to us through him. exactly what happened yeah. after he right. walks in. Right, David came in because he saw me. There was absolutely no other reason for him to go in the charity shop. You could tell he was really upset, but without wanting But to... did he mention... What did he say? He went, oh, what are you doing? Like, he just points at this pig yeah. that I'm holding. Yeah. And I panicked, so I said, look, I didn't want to tell you at the time, but I've already got one. Ah. <laughs> so when did he actually find out the truth, then? So right? I had to call David and tell him I was coming on, would I lie to you? And I can't stand the thought of hurting anyone's feelings. So you thought you'd bring him on national television and humiliate him? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we've, we've since spoke. <laughs> And he's lovely. Right. Now, Lee, what about David? David, remind us of your claim and your statement. This is David, and he helped me board a train to rescue a rabbit. First of all, <laughs> where were you going from? I was going from London to Cardiff. With, with your wife and child? Exactly. Was, was you going there for a reason? What do you mean by that? You're going to have a reason to go to Cardiff? <laughs> Oh, you come down here with your cockney patter. <laughs> People go to Cardiff just because they want to visit it. Sorry, mate. <laughs> did, you, did you like it there, David? It was very nice. Did you Obviously, like it? I, you know, I'd put Carlisle into the train app, so... <laughs> <laughs> Talk us through what happened. Well, what happened, we got on the train yeah. and she... Uh, this rabbit called uh, pink rabbit it's a pink rabbit what's it called she calls it pink rabbit that's it she's got your sort of creativity thank you <laughs> um uh, she, and it's her second favorite cuddly toy the, who's the favorite the favorite is another rabbit he's called wiggles wiggles oh, okay Aww. But wiggles never leaves the house oh has he got an asbo <laughs> <laughs> 
it's, just, it's better we always know where Wiggles is. OK. But, but Pink Rabbit is the, uh, the, the favourite of okay. the toys she will take out of the house. How, how would you acquired the rabbit? Where did the rabbit come from? I mean, it, was probably, <laughs> it was probably a Christmas present right. at okay. some point. Mm. But the thing is, it was around for a couple of years, it's among the various... She's got lots of toy rabbits and that sort of thing, and then suddenly, and I'm not quite sure why, yeah. Pink Rabbit came to favour. It was yeah. like Stalin emerging as the front runner of the Politburo. You know, are you, he wasn't are you the still obvious, doing the bedtime stories? He, he wasn't the obvious successor to Lenin, but then a few years later, suddenly he's in charge. So Pink Rabbit has had a meteoric rise. Right. Yeah. You get off the train in, at Cardiff. Exactly. And we, when do you realise the rabbit's gone? When we've got to the hotel and my wife realises <gasps> and a look of. She's married to you and has a breakdown. <laughs> Thank you. As always, you've made it so Christmassy. <laughs> uh, but then she sort of takes me aside and says, I don't think we've got Pink Rabbit. So and at no point has your daughter made any reference to this rabbit, even uh, though it's her no, no, favourite no. rabbit. The, the, I know. The thing is, when we got on the train, uh, she, my daughter said, oh, I, I'd like, can we get Pink Rabbit out of the bag? I want to have Pink Rabbit with me on the train. And it was my strong view that that was a bad idea. <laughs> that we should keep Pink Rabbit in the bag where we know where Pink Rabbit is and only get Pink Rabbit out when we get to Cardiff. But no, I was overruled. It was apparently fine and she would keep an eye on Pink Rabbit and not forget about Pink Rabbit. OK. So, your wife said to you, <laughs> Pink Rabbit's gone. Yeah. Do you phone the train station? Because Pink Rabbit's on the way back to London. No. No? no, 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 no. <laughs> Pink Rabbit is on the way to Swansea. Yeah. Where it is going to turn round and then head back to London via, and here's the loophole, the Lake District. <laughs> no, via Cardiff. The train is coming back via Cardiff. Um, so you know now where the train is headed. So what do you decide to do? We go to Cardiff Station. <laughs> in order to get on it and look for oh. Pink Rabbit. But you All said, you said cuddly you... toy. Oh, yes. <laughs> How many children do you have? One. Well, of course, classic, classic <laughs> only child scenario. I've got five. I would have said the rabbit's dead. Get on with your life. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? Well, we went to the station. Yeah. David was in the, the sort of glass room slash booth next to the barriers. It's nice that he's brought it with him. And <laughs> <laughs> we went up to him and, and said, look, um, we haven't got tickets for the train, but it's, we don't want to get on the train. We want to go and retrieve a, a, a toy rabbit. And he looked quite stern and severe and then nodded and went, yeah, that's fine. And it was, it was, a, it was a wonderful moment of possibility. Right. So then what happened? The train comes into the station. Uh, my wife goes to the front of the train to talk to the driver. She's such a flirt. <laughs> <laughs> and we've worked out where our carriage would be coming in. Yes. I get on the right carriage to look for Pink Rabbit and, as it turned out, thankfully find Pink Rabbit uh, and then get off the train. The bit we haven't heard yet mm. is that if you have specifically said I don't think the rabbit should leave the bag. Yeah. And then you get to the hotel and she says, oh, we haven't got the rabbit. How did that conversation go? <laughs> well, what, what can I say? I'm a <laughs> hell of a guy. <laughs> but what did you actually say? I did not say I told you so. You didn't say I told I you so. I did not say you I told you so. You might not have said it with your mouth. Did you say it with your eyes? Oh, well, I can't did you affect go... that, can I? <laughs> I can't affect what they're doing. <laughs> they're always admonishing everyone. <laughs> No, I didn't say that because I knew my wife would already have been thinking it. It was not necessary for me to say those words because they were already in her brain. So be honest. <laughs> and at some point she is going to say, you told me so, for me, yeah. as indeed she subsequently did. And <laughs> so let's that be is when a relationship is working. <laughs> So, Lee's team, is David Joe's frugal friend, Ruth's charitable chum, or David's rabbit rescuer? This is a tough one. I mean, Ruth is... It's not likely, is it? No, I don't think that's I, likely. I, I'm genuinely torn between David and Joe. I don't know. I've been in the same situation and lost a teddy bear at the airport 
and I was gutted quite for ages. I'm going to go with David, because I've been there. I have also been there, so I do feel right. that this could yeah. be true. I I'm aware of, like, how emotionally damaging these situations can be, and for that reason, we didn't buy our children any toys. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Really. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Joe, what did you think? What's David, it going to be? Go with David. I'll go with David. We'll go with David. I'm going to say that David held up the train. Okay. David, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm David, and David and I rescued his daughter's rabbit. <laughs> yes, David is David's rabbit rescuer. Thank you very much, David. <laughs>